Python is a programming language that's been around for about 20 years. It's widely used in the industry uh, in lots of different contexts. It's used for scientific computing, for data analysis, for systems administration, for web applications. It has a, a very wide user base and very wide use. It has one of the most active and exciting communities in programming today as well. Uh, why are we going to do it at the Iron Yard? Because it just makes sense to match it up with uh, our local economy and our local industry is so focused on uh, both the health field and on data analysis that it is a perfect match for what we're trying to do with Iron Yard. Python is used in lots of different startups that you may know. Um, it's used at Bitly, which many people have heard of, Dropbox, which almost all of us have on our computers today. Locally, it's used at places like Red Hat and IBM, at local startups like Windsor Circle. Our curriculum at the Iron Yard for Python, it's going to be a really interesting curriculum. It's a little different from some of the curricula that we've done in the past. Um, all of our curricula in the past have been very focused on the web. For the first time, we're going to focus on more general purpose computing. Uh, in particular, we're going to have a couple of different ways we're going. We're going to talk uh, very much about data science, data analysis. Uh, we're going to do some machine learning, uh, the sort of thing that you would do, let's say, to analyze spam coming in, uh, Bayesian filtering. We're going to cover that. As well, we are going to cover using it for uh, making web applications. Uh, showing data visualizations online. And lastly, we're going to cover using it for uh, administering the sort of large cloud systems that uh, people have to do now. Data science. It's going to be a big part of our curriculum. And people ask me, what is data science? Data science involves any analysis of large amounts of data. We're going to take some pretty large data sets. For example, all the mortgages that have uh, happened in America in the last year would be a great example. Or uh, analysis of uh, movement of a particular disease over time. Analyzing that data, deriving other things from it, ma <clears throat> making connections that you wouldn't necessarily uh, be able to make on your own without a computer. That's part of data science. In addition, is simulation. We're going to do some really fun stuff. Uh, being able to take the um, you know, a set of movies and reviews and finding out what other movies you might like, just like Netflix does. That's part of data science. Um, and the last thing that we're going to do, like I said, is lots of simulation. If you want to find out, for example, uh, what's the best... A strategy to use when you're playing blackjack. Well, you could write a program that plays 100,000 games of blackjack and tells you how each strategy that you wrote worked. If you want to find out what's the best, you know, artificial intelligence you could use in your Roomba um, to clean rooms most efficiently, that's simulation. Run 100,000 uh, times of a Roomba going over a room and find out what, what the best way was. Uh, all that encompasses data science, and it's going to be really exciting to, and a lot of fun to play with all of that. I firmly believe that almost everyone working in any sort of um, uh, thought industry today, whether it be you know, in an office, um, uh, designing things, whatever you're doing, almost all of us program on a daily basis. We just don't necessarily know that we're programmers. If you use a spreadsheet, you're a programmer. Um, if you use uh, SAS at your job to analyze data, let's say you work at a, a global health organization, you're programming. Python is the perfect language to take that knowledge of program you have already and move to the next level. You can continue to do the same things you've been doing, analyze the same problems, solve the same problems, but do it in a much richer and easier way. It's going to be a really exciting language for people to know and it's something that whether you decide to become a professional web developer, uh, a system administrator, or go back into your career with a much uh, larger scope of things that you can do, it's going to be useful in all those contexts and that's why I'm particularly excited about teaching it.